Hi, my little Cappies. My little sweet Capricorns, how are you? So, today we're going to be looking at the energy that surrounds you and your person for the last um, part of April, the last half. All right. Um, you know, if this doesn't resonate with you, to go check your uh, moon and your rising, as well as possible Venus sign. Um... So yeah, and you know the energies could be interchangeable as well. So if I say one is one and the other is the other, just know that it could be switched, okay? Because energy comes in however it comes in. All right, Taurus. So let's begin in, I mean, Taurus, Capricorn. I just did Taurus. <laughs> okay, Capricorn, let's begin and see. Maybe you're dealing with a Taurus, Capricorn. But let's see. Um what spirit has to say okay what energy surrounds you guys thank you guys the universe well we have four capricorn and their person for april 16th through the 30th what do we have for capricorn and their person for april 16th through the 30th spirit. Okay. so we're gonna see what energies are surrounding you and your person and I hope you guys have been doing well. Okay, Capricorn. Capricorn. Okay, so you, my dear Capricorns, have great intuition first of all you have very good intuition and i feel like you have been walking you're walking away from something you're moving away you're getting out of this roughness which i if i'm not mistaken for capricorn i believe i had this same kind of energy probably last last month or maybe it was in april's reading the actual general message anyways okay but this is you and them. So your energy is definitely walking away from something. You're moving away from whatever it is, whether it is the thoughts in your head, whether it is, you know, cutting off communication with somebody. I feel like you're just moving away from this situation or whatever it is. Okay. And you have the higher font here. So I'm feeling like it's definitely something that you know that needs to be done something your intuition has been telling you over and over that you need to be doing um because you, you're being guided to do that and you know that so i feel in this end of this month that you are going to be walking away from something you're going to be just moving away your person over here See, your person over here is wanting communication with you is wanting to be with you is wanting to have this happiness okay they're feeling fulfilled towards you. They're feeling like they can talk to you. They're feeling like you're a great friend. They're feeling like you have something that you can give them, right? Like you have, they just, I, I'm getting like, they just feel like it's easy with you, okay? And they, they want to talk to you. And they want to interact with you, all right? Because they see you as being their happiness okay like they they feel joy they feel happiness when they're with you um or whatever i feel like the emotions that are the emotions the emotional part the loving part the heartfelt part the intuition, the feels, whatever you want to call it, that is between you. It was something that was seemingly relevant. I f I'm feeling like Capricorn that it was something that was relevant between you. Like you, you both knew that you had these mutual feelings towards each other, right? Like, or you were just on the same page with your emotions in some way or ha having, um, you know, love for each other. And you both knew that this was going to be something that you would have to work at, okay? That this was something that you both would have to um, 
put in in order for this to work out. Like this isn't just going to happen. Like just because I know you feel this way and you know I feel this way and we might be on the mutual page of feeling this way, but given the circumstances, this isn't going to work unless we both put forth the effort. So there was kind of like this, this just standing here, just staring at each other. Like, okay, well, somebody's got to make a move here, you know? This person wants happiness with you. I do feel like this person wants happiness with you. Oh, in general, they want happiness with you. And they feel friendly. Like they can communicate like you're like you're their BFF, okay? Pretty much. Um but I also feel like they can be wishy-washy. And the way the reason why I say that is because in down here this is what I have in my spread. This is how it looks to me. I'm going to show it to you how you, it, okay? So this is you, I feel like moving away, okay? This is the king of cups, that energy that's between you two. So you're both on this emotionally like certain state, like you know how each other felt. That's what I'm feeling. And this person here, this, um, the queen of swords, I'm feeling like, you know, they want a communication, that gentle communication with you. They feel friendly, it's soft. But you see, like, they got their back turned, okay? And I'm feeling like, I'm getting a feeling because of that, that they talk to you when they want to talk to you, okay? They do have these feelings, but they talk to you when they want to talk to you. They, tum they, they may move towards you, they turn towards you, and then they'll turn back around. Which is why I feel like you're leaving this situation or you're wanting to at least move away from it or distance yourself from it because I do feel like you both have feelings for each other that is I see that you have feelings for each other they're they're very like known feelings <laughs> but in order for something like this to work it's going to have to take work Okay, it takes steps, it takes action. If there is no action being put, then it's not, it's not gonna go nowhere, okay? So, I feel like you have definitely been in your head a lot Okay, you've been thinking about the situation a lot. You've been wanting to find love and balance, okay? But you know, but you are knowing that it is time to go. Like spirit is saying, your intuition is saying it is time to go. Go. Okay? Stop thinking about it. It is time to leave out of this situation that is not bringing you anything okay this is you this is you this is you the five of pentacles and this is you the five of swords okay but i'm feeling like when you move when you finally move away and you walk away that there will be a sense of victory somewhere in there you will feel like you've conquered it you've got control over um you now you know, and it's not in this, you know, game playing mode where he talks or she talks to you when they want to or not. And they go and they come back. I mean, it's like you put a stop to that. You're like, no, okay, we're done. We're, we're, we're finished here. We're done. You're tired of worrying about it. I know you don't want to worry about it, Capricorn. Okay, let's see what else is going on over here. Oh, shoot. That one came flying out. For their energy. I'm sorry if I'm off the screen. <laughs> I hope you guys are doing well. See, they're out, they're looking, they're still, they're still looking, you know, like I'm feeling like for them, they are just wanting, they're just wanting their cake and eat it too. Okay, they're just wanting their cake and eat it too. They see they know what they want 
because the Queen of Swords represents them, and I feel like for them, that is them having feelings towards you, having um, a connection towards you, and wanting to talk with you because it's familiar, it feels good. I do believe that they care about you, you care about them, but they are there in this wishy-washy state. But the thing is, The thing is for them is they see like, they see adventure with you. They see, they do, they do see something. Okay. They do see some kind of, um, you know, going out and, and being and happiness with you. I feel like when they think of you, they think of very endearing, joyful things. All right. I am also getting that they are very knowledgeable and very knowing of where they actually stand so even though they may turn your their back and talk to you when they want to and play this game whatever you want to call it they they know exactly what it is that they're doing they know exactly what it is that they want they might not be sharing that with you okay they might not be sharing that with you but I feel like they're going to be walking away as well. Okay. They want the Nine of Cups with you. And I got the Eight of Cups here. So they're going to be walking away to potentially find their happiness with the Nine of Cups. Let me further clarify this Eight of Cups. Because I'm not sure if they're walking away from you, Capricorn, or they're walking away from someone else. Please clarify the eight cups. Clarify the eight cups, spirit. Thank you. Um, this person, I feel like, is wanting a new start. Gosh, but they're just, yeah. This person is wanting a new start with you. I do feel like they want a new start with you. However, However, I feel like this person is just taking forever to make up their mind. They can't seem to make up their mind. They're constantly battling things, okay? And the funny thing is, is that I feel like they know what they want. They know what it is that they want. They're not telling you, okay? They're not telling, I feel like they're not telling you the full truth. They're just telling you what they want whenever they want, whenever they choose to, you know, talk to you. But I'm feeling like they're wanting to walk away, okay? They're going to walk away from something. And I really feel like they're wanting to walk away so they can move towards you. Because they find the happiness in the Nine of Cups. And here it is, it's the Eight. So I'm feeling like they're going to walk away from something to move towards you. Because that's how they feel about you. You're their Nine of Cups, right? You're their happiness. But they're just... <sighs> They're just having to fight it, okay? And they're just having to, they're just taking forever to make up their mind. And, that, and that's what I'm saying. You're not, I think you're done with this. I feel like Capricorn, you are like, I am tired of waiting. Okay, we, I am tired of just, what am I doing? You know, like I'm just waiting for you to make up your mind on what you're going to do. We've talked so much. We communicate so much that we know we both have feelings for each other. Okay. But they're not taking the action. They're not putting in the work. They're not, they're just dreaming of the happiness. And even though I do, I do, I do feel that this person wants to be with you, but there is just so much, there's just so much more going on. Hold on, let me go down here and look and see if I can, I think I've dropped a bunch of cards. Okay. I mean, it's so weird because I want to tell you Capricorn because I feel like that there's love or there's some kind of 
feelings involved. Like I can, like I feel there's a connection. But this person is just stagnant, maybe. Just, just not moving along as quick as you want them to. And you're going to leave. You're just going to move on yourself. Okay? I see them wanting to move on, too. I see them wanting to move away from whatever it is. It's just a battle for them. It's like to, to get this started, it's like they can't. You know? Like, there's just all these blocks and issues that come in the way for them to move towards you and you know what that that is on them okay that is completely on them and and their journey and if in whatever it is you you your intuition is telling you to leave to walk away from it move on okay why is the higher font here oh i'm using them all day <laughs> why is the higher font here let me get a clarity on the high, higher font. It's higher font, which is Taurus energy, too. Just saying. It's funny because I think I called, said Taurus at the beginning of this. Okay. Maybe you're dealing with a Taurus. They slow people. <laughs> Why is the higher font here? One more shuffle. Okay, well, one more shuffle. I need to get a card. I want to blow up. Okay. Oh, let's see. Capricorn. The magician because you the higher font here is here because your intuition is telling you to move on because you are going to go create something new you are going to manifest other things you have been putting your energy too much into this situation that's not going nowhere fine you guys care about each other fine you guys can possibly still be friends but it's not going to move in any direction because this person is not choosing or not working hard enough or whatever you want to call it to get it in a momentum for you guys to be together plain and simple that's them let them do whatever you move on create your own happiness okay because there's something there for you to manifest and your energy being put in them is 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 not allowing that it's blocking that so it's time to move to better things for you I definitely feel that for you, Capricorn. Okay, so we're going to get a last message of advice from Spirit, and then I'm going to close this um, video. <laughs> what message of advice do we have for Capricorn? What last message? Hold on. Too many. Last message of advice for Capricorn. Capricorn. One more shuffle. Okay, hold on. One more shuffle. All right. Wish fulfillment, honey. Yes. So. You have the star card, the two of swords, and the ten of wands. All right, Capricorn, it is time for you to release this, whatever. If you want to call it burden, burden. It is time to release it, to let go of it, to move on from it. You're done trying to put the energy and the passion and, and whatever into this situation, okay? There is no more need to be in conflict. There is no more need to be wondering which way you need to go. You, your intuition is there. Your intuition is right here telling you which way to go. It's time to unblindfold. It's time to listen to it, okay? Because your wish is waiting for you. Something great is supposed to happen, okay? Once you do this, something wonderful is going to happen once you let go of all that, you know, that's keeping you down. And you know this. Because you're going to be creating something. You're going to be manifesting something. Oh my gosh, don't worry about your person over here. They, let them do them. All right? Um, so that is all that I have for you, Capricorn. I hope you enjoyed this. If this resonates, please leave me a comment down below. And until next time, love you guys. Bye.